You've probably heard of this type of engine before, as it is used in many vehicles. Including cars, motorcycles, and boats. Let's get started. Firstly, an internal combustion engine is a type of heat engine that converts the energy from fuel into mechanical energy. Which is then used to power the vehicle. This process happens within the engine cylinders. Which are essentially chambers where fuel is burned and energy is produced. The four-stroke cycle is the most common cycle used in internal combustion engines. It consists of four main stages, intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. Let's go over each of these stages. The first stage, intake, is where air and fuel are drawn into the cylinder. This is done through the engine's intake valve, which opens to allow the mixture to enter. Once the mixture is inside the cylinder, the valve closes. The second stage is compression, where the mixture is compressed to a smaller volume. This is done by the engine's piston moving upwards within the cylinder compressing the mixture as it goes. This stage is important because it increases the pressure and temperature of the mixture, making it easier to ignite. The third stage is combustion, where the mixture is ignited by a spark plug. This causes the fuel to burn rapidly, creating a high-pressure explosion that pushes the piston downwards. This is the stage where energy is produced and is what powers the engine. Finally, the fourth stage is exhaust, where the waste gases from combustion are pushed out of the cylinder through the engine's exhaust valve. This stage is important because it allows the engine to expel waste products and make room for the next cycle to begin. So that's the basic overview of the four-stroke cycle that happens within an internal combustion engine. Of course, there are many other parts that make up an engine, including the crankshaft, camshaft, and various valves and sensors. It's also worth noting that there are different types of internal combustion engines, including diesel engines and rotary engines. These engines operate slightly differently from the four-stroke cycle we just discussed, but they still work by converting fuel into mechanical energy. In conclusion, the internal combustion engine is a fascinating piece of engineering that has powered vehicles for over a century. Understanding how it works can help you appreciate the complexity and ingenuity that goes into designing and building these powerful machines. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something new.